What's up everybody and welcome to the 44 auto mag adding in the iconic pistol into Fallout 4. You may or may not have seen of this, it's not the most popular handgun in the world, but I've definitely heard of it, I've definitely seen it in kind of just different media, and yes, now the mod author is celebrating what would be the hypothetical 100 year anniversary, so we do have it again in Fallout 4. So as you can see, this is definitely a high quality pistol mod, like the actual texture quality itself is very high quality, and really just the gun all around just looks really good. I really like the look of it. I really like the different finishes. As we get into some of the crafting, there's not a ton of different crafting options, but the options you do have definitely have some pretty cool details there. But nonetheless, again, just a really cool like kind of different pistol mod that had some effort put into it. So here we actually have it in first person and let's just take a few shots with the gun. So this thing definitely packs a serious punch, it is a very cool looking weapon mod, and unfortunately it does use the 10mm sound effect, but it's not too big of a deal, all the animations are kind of on point, not too many issues there, and oh god, I didn't actually know that would explode, but uh, regardless, it is a pretty cool gun, and again, there's no, no huge issues, I'd love to see that sound effect updated in the future, but for the time being, it definitely is sufficient. So to actually get the gun, you're going to want to travel over here, I mean, there's not really a better way to show you, basically it's over over this way there's a picture kind of detailing where it's basically going to be up on this little ridge and when you actually get the gun originally it's going to come with some obviously ammo and a 40 another 44 auto mag and a few other things this is actually i think this little chair and everything is here by default but the gun is added in but when you actually get the two different guns it's going to come with this rusty texture and as you can see the rusty texture is going to be doing well frankly a lot less damage than my fully upgraded one so as you can see we have 248 to 9 so let's actually take a little bit of a different or a look at the two different ones. So here obviously is the kind of finished and nice looking one, and here's the rusty one. So everything is pretty much the same as far as sound effects and all that go. The gun itself just actually looks a little bit worse, which I kind of like. There's a few other weapon mods that do this. Obviously, it still is packing a serious punch at uh, the ammo or at the 100 damage per shot for a pistol. But regardless, I just really like that little touch. and I think it's pretty cool. So as I did say before, in the weapon workbench, you do have quite a few different options. First and foremost, you do have the rusty receiver. That's what's going to come with. But as you move forward, you're going to get all these other receivers, which are going to look much nicer. And... Um, the receiver is actually the receiver, it's not the barrel, so change you could change the rusty barrel when you get to the barrel. Regardless, as you can see here, we have a bunch of different options. You have a hair trigger one, a hardened one, a powerful one, etc, etc. So let's actually put on the hair trigger uh, receiver to be a little bit different. And then we actually do have a few different barrel lengths. So as you can see here, we have the normal barrel, which is going to be the rusty barrel, which is 6.5 inches long. That's what I was using on my other gun. But you also do have a 4 inch option, an 8.5 inch option, a 10 inch option, or a 12 and a half inch option if you actually look at the range on this thing 305 range versus the 179 or 125 that you uh, or the 179 really is the one I guess we should look at that you have there is a pretty big bump obviously the accuracy isn't going up too much but it's still really nice to have this you could definitely make this kind of a uh, a I don't know you, you have options with all these different barrels that is a lot of range so definitely going to be probably a good amount of range for uh, how far you're going to be shooting so this I actually love mod authors never do this and I don't know why but regard well I know why but regardless we do have the standard grip there as you can see and then we do have the rubber grip right there so as you can see the rubber grip is going to look a little bit different nothing too crazy but then we actually have a wooden grip which is basically going to be a brown wood texture of it look the material and all that is kind of the same as the what uh the rubber grip but it actually looks a little bit different with that wood texture and then we have the sharpshooter grip which is actually going to put little rivets in for your fingers so i absolutely love these changes so often do we just get okay here's one grip here's grip two that has better stats and here's grip three that has even better stats this one actually even though the changes are so minute i, I just really like that i feel like again so many mod authors don't add that little detail in and just, just those three little notches makes a big difference at, at least in my eyes so we can move on to uh, we do have a few different magazines here you have a quick eject magazine so that's just going to be the normal capacity which is going to be seven 
then we have the large magazine which i believe is this 12 i believe then we also do have an extra large magazine although there's no quick eject option for this one so let's put the lar or extra large magazine on this gun then we have a few different sites we have the reflex so uh, reflex sight the short scope or the standard sights so you can put that on and then it actually unlocks the source short sights which actually works it's kind of weird though a lot of mods that's just a glitch but this one actually works and then finally we do have a muzzle break so that's going to be exceptional recoil control better per shot recoil but unfortunately in fear range so as you can see now you have a quite a cool looking little gun right there and uh, i'm going to customize all three of them and i'll show you so here we do have the three different guns of course first and foremost we have the one i was using originally but that's kind of boring now look at this one does that not look like a cool little gun right there i just feel like a badass holding this thing like it honestly just looks like super futuristic and obviously in fallout that doesn't really apply but regardless and that's the hair trigger um, receiver we do have on there. So this one's going to have 14 shots. So it's 10 shots, not 12. So this is the extra lar large magazine. That's 14. And uh, then the large is going to be 10. And then uh, the regular one was 7. So here we also do have one with the uh, the super long barrel there. So it's going to have the longest barrel available and this little short scope, which is uh, it's pretty cool. I like this. I hate short scopes from Vanilla Fallout 4. So I have that issue. I'd love to see some see-through sights integration. But this one... This is the one that I think really shines. Like, look at that. I just think it looks so cool, especially in first person while you're holding this. And you got the hair trigger uh, receiver on there. I just think it's a very cool gun. But that's pretty much everything about the gun. Again, a relatively simple weapon mod. But as I did say in the beginning of this video, I think it just the little detailings on it all are just pretty nice and pretty cool. So here we are now with a bunch of different enemies placed down. Uh, let's see, we have some super mutants in there and then some legendary raiders out there. Let's actually let them start fighting and then we can move in in a second but uh, yeah so i'm going to use the one with the scope first because uh, then i want to turn off my hud because oh wow <laughs> so this thing actually these are just regular super mutants so we do one shot them let's oh that's a rocket hello <laughs> but uh, i'm pretty sure the raiders are going to fare a little bit better uh oh that's also a rocket um it's kind of oh god this guy's hitting me with some of his rockets but it does pack a powerful punch if you actually could like hit your shots and uh where's this guy with the rocket he's right there oh what <laughs> i didn't know that i just heard him i i don't know if i'm just really inaccurate or my sight's a little off I mean, maybe it's a little both, but uh, as you can see, if I actually hit some of these guys, I do one-shot them, but screw that. That's not what we're here to see. We're here to see some action with the other versions of the gun, aka the cool versions of the gun. So let's go run down here. It's weird not having crosshairs. <laughs> but let's take out this one. This is the one I actually really like, and this is going to be the, uh, the like, quick one. So I'm getting hit by uh, one of those, like, radiation guns, which I don't want to happen. But as you can see, you could blast people away with this thing. That is awesome. That is a ton of fun to use. And uh, I can see how it gets a little bit obnoxious, though. <laughs> Who, who's hitting me with that? I'm pretty sure. Just a one, I think a one-shot kill is on headshots. Again, 250 damage per shot for a pistol like this is uh, definitely no joke. So uh, not something you want to be messing around with. Oh, I had to reload this one. Obviously, this one not doing quite as much damage, about 100 damage less than the other one, but you do have that much higher rate of fire, and I think it just looks a lot cooler, but uh, obviously you could have it doing more damage without it looking cool. Let's actually switch to the longer range one to try and take this guy down. I really wish we had a few more sights. I think that would be awesome on this, because especially with some of these longer barrels, like this isn't super impractical Whoa, at, uh, at range. It's just uh, kind of difficult to use at range because... I feel like, well, I, I like refuse to use the vanilla scopes in Fallout 4. Um, so then if you are like me and don't want to use those, you can't actually really hit people because aiming far away with this scope uh, or sight is kind of difficult. So let's finish him off with this one. Is that everyone? Do we really kill everyone? Well, I guess they killed each other a lot, but still. Nope, there's a few more. Someone's shooting me. Oh, there you are. So look at that. That's a cool little shot right there. But again, that, that one doesn't actually one-shot kill. 
but we could finish him off really quickly. But yeah, all around a very cool mod, a very interesting pistol mod. Um, there's a few improvements, but I think it really is, it's, it's a good mod, especially uh, to incorporate in your game. I think it's definitely going to be one that's a little bit different from some of the other modern pistol mods out there, because in real life, of course, it is actually just a mod, or, or different modern pistol. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, I hope to see you all next time. Later!